Welcome to the family! Hi guys, Yad McGann, and I'm about to try putting vinyl onto a chalkboard surface. Now I've already cut the vinyl. You want to use either Cricut Premium Vinyl or Oracle 651, something that's going to be sticky. Heat transfer vinyl will not work here. Okay, so now I have gone through and I've weeded everything out. It's really hard to see because it's white, but I have the characters and I have the names of all the cast members. And aside from your cut vinyl, to complete this project, you're gonna need alcohol swabs, whatever item you're choosing to put your vinyl on. In this case for me, it's little tiny chalkboards and there's a reason for that. You're gonna want scissors and some contact paper. These hanging chalkboards are about four inches by six inches. I'll put a link in the description below for where you can get them off of Amazon, but they are two-sided. They're a tiny bit thin, not exactly flimsy, but I wouldn't put a lot of weight or pressure on it. So be careful with them. You can actually write on them with chalk if you want to, but I wanted everything to look neat and uniform. And the reason I'm using chalkboards, it's actually a little reference to in the play because there's a part where there's this crude drawing of Clouseau and, and it was supposed to be on a chalkboard, but we ended up doing it with a piece of paper on a cork board. I actually offered to get a big black foam board and make a nice cutout of Clouseau, but the director wasn't into it. She wanted something a little simpler. So I just pivoted that project to make cast gifts. So first thing you want to do is get out your alcohol swabs. And you can use just like regular alcohol and a rag or whatever. I just have a bunch of swabs so I'm fine to use them. And you kind of want to clean off the surface for where you're going to be sticking your vinyl. And I'm actually going to wipe down several of these just so I can save a little bit of time later and not have to clean as many or open so many alcohol swabs. This way it saves you a little bit of money. Looks like I can get about three of these wiped down and that should help the vinyl stick. But after you have everything wiped down and it has time to dry, you want to get contact paper that is the same size or a little bit bigger than the image you're going to be working with. I don't know if you can see the Pink Panther on there yet, but he's in there. Actually, I should leave him up here for a cutting reference. So the nice thing about this particular contact paper is that it has a grid. And just like with the alcohol swabs, I'm going to save as much money as I can by reusing this contact paper as many times as it will allow. But it should just peel off like a sticker. And then we're going to kind of carefully make sure this is all nice and smooth and down. Now sometimes you have to take these on the edge of something to sort of crack the vinyl over onto the contact paper. I recommend the side of a desk, not the side of an alcohol swabs box, but that's what I've got to show you. And with any luck, nope, it is not wanting to transfer. Sometimes you gotta give it a little nudge to help it decide it wants to go to the contact paper. But at the same time, you wanna be a little bit careful because if you've gotta handle it too much, your vinyl's not gonna be sticky anymore. So we definitely have a delicate dance here. And with the cut of this and how small it is, it doesn't wanna be cooperative. I might have to try to use it like a regular sticker, but I don't wanna do that if I can avoid it. Let's give it a try from this angle. Uh-oh, eyebrow came off. Uh-oh, eyebrows wanting to stay off. I am using Cricut brand vinyl and contact paper, which I have heard sometimes the contact paper is not the best brand you can get, unfortunately. But I have never used uh, any other brand, so I don't know. Now we just want to be careful. Oh, we almost had him. Then he decided, nah. Oh, shoot, we lost that eyebrow again. I might need extra tools just to get him off of the contact paper here. Or actually onto the contact paper. Oh gosh, all the little bits are coming up. Okay, yeah, this contact paper is kind of trash. Hold on. Let me try to improvise just a little bit here. We're going to use the weeder, but we're not going to be poking down with it. I'm just going to hold down the character so he is more inclined to stay where I want him and not wander off. Jeesh, this is definitely tricky. Definitely a big labor of love right now. <laughs> Ugh, well that came off kind of ugly. Again, this might be something you want to think about when you're designing your thing and how s the size of it and everything, how thick the lines are, because this project certainly is not happy with me right now. I'm trying very hard just not to rip anything. But of course, every time you put your fingers down, <laughs> something else wants to catch. <laughs> He's so stuck to me. Well, as you can see, I have a pink panther. You know what? Let's let's just give it a try without the contact paper. Let's see what I can do if I can be that surgical. Sticking to him everywhere. Okay. Yep, definitely gonna recommend you be very 
aware of what you're trying to do. I don't think I would have done an outline like this uh, in hindsight, but here we are, so I'm going to do my best. Now, ideally, this would have stuck to the contact paper, and then I'd just have to push it down on here, but since it doesn't like to cooperate, we're trying to be flexible and help force it to cooperate. I'm just going to try and carefully use my weeding tool here to kind of lift and separate and kind of get him where he makes sense. We'll see how it works out. Hopefully I don't rip anything. Okay, I got that tail separated. Now a lot of times these vinyls are one push, one deal. So if it touches down all the way, you're not getting it back up. At least not without ripping it. I'm not sure if this chalkboard type is going to be any more forgiving. Again, this is a little bit experimental. All right, yeah, that's not too bad. And let's see if I can scrape his eyebrow off my thumb here and get it where it should be, or at least about where it should be. Yep, it went down like that. So now his eyebrow is forever upward. Piece of his ear. It's another reason why I don't sell stuff, because I'm not particularly gifted at making stuff. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's down and it's staying down. Uh, <laughs> and I don't expect this to get easier. <laughs> this is probably not going to be one of those projects where, okay, I did one or two. Now I'm totally ready to do the rest easy. This is going to be one of those, every one of these are going to be a little bit painful. Okay, that's a little too surprised. Let's get that eyebrow down if we can. I know you might not be able to see very well, but here we go. His tail goes off a little bit further than I would have liked to. I could have angled him better if I had on the contact paper, but he just was not cooperating. So if you can't get the contact paper to work, it's not the end of the world. It's more ideal, but it's not the end of the world. Oh yes, we also, there's a little line in his hand, I think, yep, stayed right here on the paper. If anybody from the cast is watching this, just know this is how much I love you to do this crazy stuff. All right, now, okay, the character was very difficult. Let's see if the name comes off easier. We will see. And again, what you would like to do is just be able to pull up like a sticker, like kind of like when you were weeding it and have it all just stay on the contact paper, but that never happens, at least not with this type of contact paper. So you just kind of have to fold and peel like you see me doing and it kind of cracks over, but you have to have lines thick enough for it to really work. So see the name Lisa came off much easier than the Pink Panther did. And I want these to be a little lopsided just so it fills up the space and looks nice. So now you can use your little scraper tool from Cricut if you want to really get this sealed down, but I feel like this is thick enough. We don't have to worry about it. And there we go. There is our cat gift number one. I'm going to attempt to do one of the two Clouseaus I cut out. I cut out one for the Clouseau actor and then one for the director. Um, Clouseau's lines might be as bad as Pink Panther's, but I want to give it a try. We'll just, we'll just have a good old-fashioned find out. He does have a few places where he's solid, so I think that might play out in my favor, but we'll see. Yeah, it's just these outlines is really hard for the Cricut to handle or the contact paper to handle. But other than that, you bend, you crack, and it goes down more okay than the other one did. Let's see if his mouth comes off. Oh, over here, you don't want to. Now, of course, you can do a different piece of ah, contact paper for every single piece. That's probably more recommended by Cricut. I, however, do not have that kind of budgeting, and I'm going to use my weeding tool again, not to weed, but to just kind of get it off my thumb, because I got caught in there. That mustache wasn't connected to anything. I see you, big boy. Ah, we lost the button to his coat on here. Let's see if I can get that to set back on. Eh, doesn't want to go. Well, we'll just have to put that on separately. All right, so now that's how it should more ideally look, except not peeling up as bad as it is right here. But we're beggars. We're not going to be choosers. We're missing a couple little pieces we'll have to put on in the aftermath. But otherwise, I think our Clouseau is going to stick pretty well. Now let's get his jacket button, hopefully centered, as centered as we can. I think that looked pretty good. That landed fairly well. Now let's try to take his little mouth. Get it there the best we can. 
And it is helpful, I think, to really push down on the vinyl, let it make contact. And now we'll crack his name onto the contact paper. This project turned out to be a little more ambitious than I expected. <laughs> Um, sometimes I forget that having a cricket is not the same as being a master cricketeer, but I think I get by pretty okay. And again, I want to put that on kind of catty corner just for my own preference to fill up the space. I think it just looks a little bit nicer if it's off kilter because the letters aren't really perfectly even. They're kind of all doing their own agenda over there. All right, and I should probably, I'll go over these two. I'll kind of put the sticker back over them and then run my Cricut bit. Uh, I don't know what it is. It looks like a little scraper and just kind of run that on there, make sure they're good and stuck in all the right places. But yes. All right, much time has passed and I have finished most of these. There's a couple where I put the panther on, but not the name because I'm not quite sure if those people have left the show. It is winter season, so they could just be sick, but I didn't want to have an emergency replacement and then go, rah, 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 I got to replace the whole thing because uh, yeah, once these stickers are down, they're pretty much down for good. But after I started working with this off camera and I got to use the vinyl and the transfer tape a little more closely without having to reach around the camera. I did not find any better success with the transfer tape. It was just much easier to peel off the panthers and stick them on by hand and then use the transfer tape for the bulkier letters. So transfer tape does have a lot of limitations it seems, but on the bright side, the vinyl cutter makes it to where, remember those rubber bands that used to be in weird shapes? Well, when you pull the vinyl off, it pretty much stays in perfect shape as long as nothing touches to stick. So if you just put your finger on the outside and let it static clean, you can kind of push it down almost perfectly. It is a little bit harder, takes a little bit more time than if you can get the transfer tape to work. Maybe if you have a different brand than I did, you would have much better luck, but that's just my experience. The Cricut transfer tape was not uh, the best, but that's my project. That's my cast gift. It's short. It's kind of simple-ish. It's pretty inexpensive. I was able to cut out the vinyl for 23 of these signs. That includes names and the character for one roll of vinyl from Walmart. So it was Cricut brand vinyl for like $6 for the roll. And I still have a little bit left over. And then again, these chalkboards weren't very expensive and I'll have a link to Amazon below where you can look at those for yourself. But you can really put this on anything. So if there's something that makes more sense for whatever you're crafting for, like coffee mugs or whatever, go for it. And I hope that this tutorial has been somewhat helpful and informative for people who don't do a lot of crafting stuff. But anyways, you've been listening to McGann ramble on like a crazy person and we will see you next time family members. Bye! If you had fun watching today's video, don't forget to subscribe so that you can see more and let us know in the comments what other videos you might want to see in the future. Also, don't forget to check out our other channel, The Fan Girl, where we talk about all kinds of movies, TV shows, and even books and comics. But viewer discretion is advised. See you next time, family members!